In this lecture, we'll be discussing about how SQL Server evolved over the years towards becoming the most hybrid version of SQL Server to date. To this end, I have prepared a timeline via which we'll be discussing about the Azure integration features added in each release of SQL Server since version 2016. So, first in SQL Server 2016, there were some features that integrated SQL Server on-premises with Azure SQL Database, and these features are Polybase Query Engine, which actually integrates SQL Server with external data in Hadoop or Azure Blob Storage, the Stretch Database feature, via which you can archive data from a local SQL Server database, that is SQL Server on-premises, to an Azure SQL Database, as well as direct query data source support for Azure SQL in analysis services. Then more Azure integration features were added in SQL Server 2017, and these features were new bulk access options for CSV and Azure blob files, as well as the enhancement based on which memory-optimized file groups files could be stored, backed up, and restored on Azure Storage. In the next release of SQL Server, after SQL Server 2017, so that is actually SQL Server 2019, more Azure integration features were added, and these features were integration services enhancements for performing file operations and data read writes on Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, support for Azure SQL Managed Instance Databases in SQL Server Master Data Services, as well as support for Azure SQL Managed Instances in SQL Server Reporting Services. So you can see that SQL Server 2019 provides even more integration with Azure SQL Database and more specifically with Azure SQL Managed Instance when compared to the previous versions of SQL Server, for example, SQL Server 2016 or SQL Server 2017. Now let's take a look on what has been added in SQL Server 2022 in terms of Azure integration, something that will indeed help us realize why this release of SQL Server is the most hybrid version of SQL Server to date. So SQL Server 2022 contains even more Azure integration features, about which we'll be thoroughly discussing in later lectures and sections in this course. So the Azure integration features added in SQL Server 2022 is the link to Azure SQL Managed Instance for high availability, Microsoft Defender for cloud integration, Microsoft Purview integration, Azure Active Directory Authentication for connecting to SQL Server, support for certificate and key backup and restore integration scenarios with Azure Blob Storage Service, as well as the capability of installing the Azure Arc agent via SQL Server at setup. Note that Azure Arc is a bridge that allows you to connect your on-premises SQL Server instances with the Azure Cloud and thus build platforms that have resources both on-premises and on the Azure Cloud. In addition to all this, many other Azure integration features have been added, and we are going to talk about all these in subsequent lectures and sections in this course. So yes, based on all this, we can definitely say that SQL Server 2022 is the most Azure-enabled release of SQL Server to date.